I wish we could tell you this was fake. In this infuriatingly hard to watch video, a woman flings around a baby like old clothes, stuffs a rag in another child's mouth, and even picks one girl up by her head. Unfortunately, what you're watching is all too real, and the parents of the abused never saw it coming. I thought she was a great person, a great daycare provider, that I trusted her completely. When it came to finding a daycare for her little girl, Desiree LeBlanc thought she knew what she was doing, maybe even better than most. I worked for the Department of Human Services at that time. I was a child protective investigator. As a DHS worker, um, I've done hundreds of, of cases, and I'm trained to see things. I have seen virtually every type of child abuse that there is. So when Desiree met in-home daycare owner Christina Williamson, she did her research. She was referred to us by a family friend um, who knew her husband and her husband's family. Um, so I, I met with Christina. Uh, her home was immaculate. Everything was neat. There was uh, tubs of toys, easels, uh, ride-on toys. Um, the, the basement opened up into the backyard with sliding doors, so she was able to have the kids go outside. Everything was always very neat and orderly. And it wasn't just about how she kept her house. She seemed extremely attentive. She was constantly sending photographs, letting us know that everything was OK. And then if there was ever a concern, um, she would equally message right away and say that our, our daughter scratched herself um, on whatever and a picture that would show us a scratch. So automatically, we're like, oh, she's very you know, concerned. But those weren't the only pictures being taken. And some of those scratches may not have been so accidental. Again, we want to let you know these images may be extremely disturbing to some viewers. It was a Wednesday, May 13th, and I was working and got a call from my supervisor that I needed to go and pick up my daughter at the daycare and not to talk to Christina and not to ask any questions, that there was an incident. Not just one incident, and not just one child. What Desiree didn't yet know was that just weeks before, Christina's soon-to-be ex-husband had put up surveillance cameras around the home. My understanding is that Christina's husband installed the video cameras because he, there was some statements made by uh, the eight-year-old in the house indicating that there was some kind of unusual treatment uh, by Christina Williamson. He got way more than he thought he would. With our daughter, the videos show her sleeping and Christina yanking her up by the arm and uh, flinging her onto the floor. They show her picking her up by her head. She um, pushes our daughter down so that she's folded in half and uh, she holds her that way. Um, for about 90 seconds. It was just horrifying. It was just, it was just awful. And the list goes on, from leaving kids unattended to shocking physical abuse. Christina's husband discovered what was on the tape, then he took action. Pleasant Hill Police Department then reviewed the videotape and contacted the Polk County Attorney's Office. Well, it makes you sick to see a little infant, uh, you know, having things done uh, to them. They can't say anything, they can't uh, protect themselves, they're totally uh, unprotected, and for an adult to do that, it really upsets you. After completing a thorough investigation, including getting several statements from multiple parents, Christina Williamson is placed in a very different kind of daycare. She is initially charged with four counts of child endangerment, causing bodily injury, and one lesser charge of endangerment. But in court, Williamson takes a deal. Ms. Williamson, how do you plead to count one? Guilty. She agrees to plead guilty to one charge of felony child endangerment and one count of aggravated misdemeanor child endangerment. As part of her plea... She picked up the child by one arm. 
Christina is required to give a full account of her actions, speaking here about Desiree's daughter, referred to as A.N., as well as another child. Uh, I handled A.N. roughly and N.R. roughly to the point where one was crying and you could tell that there might have been potential injury. All of the abuse was unprovoked. Certainly, there's no justification for that sort of behavior. But when you see the video and you see that the kids are just being normal kids, they're not crying, they're not fussing, she does not appear distressed, and then she just lashes out for no reason. At sentencing, Christina is forced to listen to the parents of her victims talk about the hell she put them through. We were inconsolable with guilt, knowing that we had unwitting place our precious baby girl in the hands of a monster. Part of what happened as a result of this situation is I decided to leave my job. She was afraid of you and I didn't see it. Here I'm being entrusted to find out if this child is safe and I don't even have the ability to know if my own child is safe. Now I see it and it breaks my heart. When it's finally time for Christina to speak, she addresses the parents directly. I'm sorry. She goes on to cite multiple mental health issues for her actions, but the judge shows little mercy. And I have kids, and um, watching those films was, was just sick. Parents, in this case, trusted you to care for the most precious thing that they have as their children. And uh, you violated that trust. Clearly, the videotape was the most crucial piece of evidence that we had against Christina Williamson. She pled guilty to a Class D felony, and she also pled guilty to an aggravated misdemeanor. She is currently serving a five-year sentence. Thankfully, none of the children under Christina's so-called care have shown any lasting effects, including Desiree's now happy and healthy toddler. But the parents of Christina's helpless victims know it could have been a very different story if not for one well-placed camera. I never saw anything at Christina's that I can look back and say was a red flag. Every day, we would hand our child over to a person who smiled at our faces and then did these terrible things when we walked out the door. I believe that without those videos that I would have struggled to believe that something happened.